On this solo Joe, Joe tour, which song are you most excited to sing? Oh, wow. Uh, I enjoy singing uh, the great Elton John song, Don't Let the Pretty awesome. But a lot, of, a lot of different songs, you know, just mixed from my past, new stuff, my stuff, you know, some really great songs uh, mixed in the past. What what made you decide you wanted to do the, this particular set of songs? Not not just necessarily doing a solo tour, because I mean you're you obviously you're a musician in your own right. In addition to new kids, but why these particular songs? Would you put together on this list? It's going to come out on, when we start performing on the nineteenth. What what made you want this group of songs? Yeah, yeah. Um, thanks, Dad. I I you know I started playing Carnegie Hall, which is a very special performance, and, um, you know, we played three hours, they had us off stage, it was amazing, so, you know, to have to play a set list like that, I kind of like, you know, amazing. I kind of had to put it on the shelf, but like, take from that, you know, I've done Broadway theater, I've done, you know, the old standards, and I also, you know, working in what I like New standards, which are to me like U2 and Elton and George Michael. Um, you know, I think it's a mixture. I think it's it's what the song says, how you tell the story. I mean, there is a thread in there somewhere. Which songwriter do you most admire? Well, geez, I mean, when you talk about a one man show, I mean, George Michael, I mean, phenomenal singer, but. He wrote the songs. He produced the songs. Um, he was something else uh, to do it all on his own like that. Yeah, and of course he's going into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. What? How do you value? Like, well, okay, I'll ask a question this way: Which honor do you think is the best for? A musician, and some view like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is a big accomplishment. There are plenty of others who say, "Yeah, whatever if we're in, it doesn't matter." Or Grammy, Lifetime Achievement Award, or whatever. What do you consider as a musician who's had a fair amount of success? What's an honor that you think is most worthy of your artistry and in, in your career? Yeah, um, you know, everybody hates the Grammys until they win one, right? You know what I mean? Like, you know. Yes. F the Grammys, yeah, until you're up there thanking everybody. Uh, you know, I I think, you know, a lot of that, it can be like a small boys club, too. You know what I mean? It's like a lot of backroom deals, so who knows? But, uh, you know, funny enough, we, we won, it's all relative, though. Like, we won an American Music Awards, like, years ago. And, and you're like, ah, American Music Awards, I don't know, but, like, over the years, it's at a great awards show, and they have amazing performances, and it's like, it's aged really well, you know? And so you never know what kind of accolades or awards, you know, what what they are, what they feel like, but um, it's, it's nice to be recognized. It's nice to be in the conversation, really. Um, I did have to ask some, some folks that I know from, because... When I was in sixth grade, that was 1989-90. Half of my sixth grade class were New Kids fans. Literally, all of the girls, all 15, I think every single one was a New Kids fan that year. So, of course, so I threw it out. I'm like, all right, here you go, folks. I got the chat. Who wants to ask a question? And I did get one. One of my classmates did respond. It said, how surprised are you all? You are still performing together 30 years, 35 years later. So, it, is it is it a surprise? What, what's your <laughs> here we go over a third of a century later? If I put it in that context, yeah. Oh, it's absolutely surprising. I mean, you know, we we you know the first time around was madness and crazy and biggest group in the world, and then we took a lot of time off. I mean, we never thought we were getting back together, so it was a surprise, you know, in many ways, even though. You know, we knew if we were going to do it, we were going to do it the right way, and we knew what we had was special, and so we were able to put it together. But you have to be lucky. You have to have great fans. You have to be passionate about what you do. Um, you have to enjoy each other's company, even though it can be really hard and challenging to be a member of a group. Um, you know, so 
yes, it's very surprising. But we have uh, we're having a lot of fun and make a lot of history and beautiful new memories with our fans. For a lot of us, the first time we heard New Kids was your voice. Was that literally was the first yeah. voice of New Kids in hearing "Please Don't Go, Girl" in the autumn of '88. Um, of course, yeah. the high notes are going to be a little more challenging to hit because, well, biology. Hello, but I'll I'll, yeah. I'll tweak the question this way a little bit on a, a on a song like that and trying to hit higher notes, not that exactly that high. But how do you keep your voice going after all this time singing? Yeah. You've been professionally singing now for that long. How do you keep your voice in shape? Yeah. You know, you got to keep your mouth shut. Who I who I think of all the time is Prince. You know, Prince was this, just this, just this, this atomic bomb on stage, right? He just went nuts on stage. But when he was off stage, he barely talk a word. You know, he'd be like this. He'd talk. You know, Prince would like he wouldn't say anything. You know, and it's like to me that's not a coincidence. You have to save your voice whenever you can, and you have to rest, and you have to take care of yourself. It doesn't happen by accident. So there is a big whole sort of training method around that. Um, and you, you know, Please Don't Go Girl has been such a such a gift to me. And, and I have been able to make it my own even 30 years later. And, you know, you stretch and you grow and you make the high notes and you, you, you build those moments within the show. And, um, yeah, it's been pretty cool. Well, this is going to be a pretty cool show coming up solo, Joe. Going to be over in uh, Minneapolis, July 14th, Varsity Theater. Joey McIntyre, thank you for taking some time chatting with us. Rest your voice for a couple minutes before before you have to go on to talk to anyone else. And uh, we'll all be looking forward to your shows this summer. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it.